Paramount has released the final trailer for the upcoming Zoolander 2. The movie is a sequel to the 2009 comedy, with this one revolving around aging male models Derek Zoolander, played by Ben Stiller, and Hansel, played by Owen Wilson, and how they are pulled into the world of international espionage and must defeat criminal mastermind and fashion designer Mugatu, played by Will Ferrell. The movie also stars Penelope Cruz, Kristen Wiig, and Benedict Cumberbatch. Zoolander 2 hits theaters on February 12th. Christian, buy or sell this trailer for Zoolander 2. <laughs> I mean, are you retiring from this? I'm movie? retiring from this movie. <laughs> I, look, as far as Zoolander fans go, I think you should buy the trailer. I just, I've, I've said it, and I get it. People love this movie. I just don't care about it. I just don't care. I'm not a big Ben Stiller fan. There are certain things that he does that I like, but this is not one of them. Um, I hope I'm, I'm wrong. I hope with this talent and this cast, there are some laughs behind it. So I, I gotta sell it because I just don't give a shit. You know, that is. I heard Christian selling this trailer, and I was surprised. I went like, because I totally buy this trailer. It's hilarious. I think this movie is going to be funny. I think it's got the rare thing that a comedy can do where it can actually be funnier than the first movie, which I think is hysterical. Now, a large part of that isn't just Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson. They're very funny, and they look like they're funny in this one, but the fact that Will Ferrell's back really is what sells me, not only on this trailer, but on the movie as a whole. There's going to be a lot of fun celebrity cameos, and I think that the celebrity cameos are going to be utilized in a correct way as opposed to where you do the Adam Sandler more modern model where it's just let's throw a lot of famous people in here and hope we get some chuckles. I like the way they're using famous people. I like the way they're using their stars to sell the movie. I think the Super Bowl is going to have a Zoolander presence as well. And when it opens next weekend, I think Deadpool's got some competition. Uh, I kind of fall in between both of you because I actually am a fan of the first one. Mm -hmm. However, I sell sell this trailer. I don't think it's a bad trailer. I just didn't think I was, I didn't laugh as much as I thought I was going to. It kind of has more of a music video vibe to it because they're using the relax song mm -hmm. and also they took out my favorite part of the first trailer benedict cumberbatch as the like man woman thing whatever he's right. supposed to be so for that alone i, I yeah I, I thought they would deliver more especially because this is a final trailer and i don't know maybe we're in the wrong circles but I feel like Zoolander is getting overshadowed by Deadpool. Is every, anything, at least I'm hearing, everyone's just talking about Deadpool, Deadpool, Deadpool. But the that may just be our circles. Better. The, huh? the marketing has been much better with Deadpool yeah. as well, too. Because even people who don't know what the hell Deadpool is, they're aware of Deadpool. And it's not that people are not aware of Zoolander, but when Zoolander already has that first movie behind it, you would think that the sequel would be overshadowing this movie, Deadpool, that a lot of non-comic book movie fans don't know about, but it's not because the marketing has been so clutch well, with Deadpool. Well, I, I would agree with that to, a, to an extent where the viral marketing for Deadpool has been maybe the best campaign I've ever seen in my life. But when I go home and I just veg out and watch ESPN and watch a lot of sports channels like that, I see more ads for Zoolander than I do for Deadpool. On TV. So I think Middle America, when they're just turning on their TV and watching a show, they're going to hear more about Zoolander than even Deadpool. Now, when you go to the theater to see another movie, that might be a different story because yeah. there's a a lot of Deadpool trailers, and I think the Deadpool trailers are better than anything Zoolander's done. However, that's why I think that this is going to be more of a neck and neck race. I still think Deadpool is going to win next weekend, and not just on the strength of this particular trailer, but on the star power of Zoolander that is coming back into theaters and the fact that I'm, people are very aware of this movie. I think it's going to have a good draw. And we've we've talked about comedy sequels before. They yeah. mostly under deliver. And they're you horrible. Can name maybe five yeah. on your on your that, that that's good. You yeah, can, maybe five. I could I, I could throw Wayne's World two at you. I could throw a Naked Gun two and a half awesome at you. Powers, Hot Shots twenty two twenty two twenty two Jump Street. Jump yeah. Street. And, but, but that's a short list. Boy. Yeah, I actually think this is going to end up being more like Anchorman two, where it's actually funny. But it's not as funny as the first one, right. and you're gonna, you're gonna have like parts where they're trying a little too hard. Or uh, Ted too, same thing. Yeah, right. Yeah. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.